All right, let's go ahead and go to the RetroPie. Go ahead and click Wi-Fi. Make sure you're connected to the internet or be plugged in. Once you know you're online, go ahead and go to RetroPie Setup and just make sure you have Kodi or at least the latest Kodi. So in order to do that, you'll just go down to RetroPie Setup. You'll be at this RetroPie Setup script screen. Go ahead and go to Manage Packages, Manage Optional Packages. And there should be one right here called Cody. Go ahead and click that and install. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab Cody. This might take a little bit of time. All right, now Cody is installed. As you see there, it says install. Let's go ahead and go back, 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 exit. Let's go ahead and restart the system. Restart system. Yes. All right, once it's installed, you should now have something called ports over here. Go ahead and click into that. And there you go, you have Kodi. Let's go ahead and launch Kodi. Now, this is using RetroPie. Uh, this is no affiliation with RetroPie whatsoever, just as the operating system I'm running. Kodi is its own system, uh, its own media player uh, that just happens to be uh, installed on top of RetroPie. You can also install install this on top of Noobs in the Raspbian, uh, which is also a very common way that uh, people access it on the Raspberry Pi. You can also do this on your Windows or Apple computer very easily. Go to Kodi.com and download the package, install it on your computer, and you should be at a similar screen to here. So no matter on what device you're on, you should get to this screen right here. Once you've been to this screen right here, uh, it does help if you have like some sort of air mouse or mouse. We're going to go to the settings menu here and system settings, add-ons, and we're going to go ahead and say it's okay for unknown sources to install because we are going to install an aftermarket source. We're going to go back, 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 go back to here to the settings again, go to file manager. And uh, we're going to add a source. So go over to the right side here, add source. All right, let's see if that works. But escape, save, go down to add ons. Let's put this file up at the top, like a Dropbox thing, install from zip. We got our magic, that's the one right there. Ares project, okay. So we should get a little pop up here in a second. All right, you got the add on updated. If you didn't get that, just try it again. Sometimes it fails, but go ahead and do it again. Then go one up, go to install from uh, repository, click on the Ares project. Go ahead and go down to program add-ons. You'll see it, go ahead and click enter, and then you'll see an install button. Click the install, it's gonna go ahead and download, and you'll get another pop-up. It says add-on installed, Aries Wizard. Go ahead and click back in, and now you should be able to open it for the first time. I've sped up this, pro this process eight times as fast. As you can see, this blank screen stays up for a good solid minute and a half, but don't worry, just wait, and then you should get into it here. Go to browse add-ons video add-ons and then you should see one for exodus enter enter to install and again i'm going to time lapse this for you uh, but it should take about a minute maybe two to install all these things i'm on wi-fi so it's not super fast and then you get your install go ahead and click enter go ahead and go scroll all the way up to the top and then hit close and then no Go ahead and restart Cody. And let's go ahead and relaunch Cody. Now remember, if you're going to be using a program like Exodus, uh, only watch things that you already have backups of. So now when we go to Movies, Go back, do the, and then we go video add on. We should have Exodus. And uh, I'm just going to search for something that I own, which would be 
TV shows. You go to the bottom here, search. Let's say I want friends. Uh, there we go, the first one. And there you go. You should have season one through ten. And then there you go. So there you go. That's Exodus. Really, really cool add-on for Cody. Again, this is for educational purposes only. You know, don't watch things that you don't own. Uh, but this is really cool. You could do this on your computer as well. All you would do is do the same steps. Install Cody, go ahead and install the add-on, then from the add-on install Exodus, and then you're running well. Um, the links might change as far as where you can get Exodus because as Cody updates and as things change, the links will change. I'm sure somebody will post in the comment section below if there is a change, uh, but this is how you do it. And uh, if you enjoy this, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.